A chicken? Back from Yonkers to zero? Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? The last chicken. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. There was a box of paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just names and names of paper. Before you paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is. It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. starting but I don't exactly need one right now so yeah we're, we're continuing on here Get some guys in my room talking they said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen but the problem was you have no way of turning that fake money into yen if you take it to the bank they'll know it's fake right away maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash only trading company the products are just a front for the money laundering sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries. I'll go. I just realized the wall is like kind of torn off. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah. I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> That's when you got shot, and then you die. Aww. So, can I just go on back to work at the management place? Where even is that? Oh... Oh my god, where's the management place? It probably would count as a minigame. Heaven's go 
golf, batting center. Oh, did you bond confections? Wait, it's just down the road. Okay. You know, I, I don't know what it is, but ever since I had played Yee's 8, it's like... Oh, I really enjoyed the game. It's like I keep going to games and being like, hmm, I don't know if I want to keep playing this game or that game. But I don't like leaving games sitting forever, but it's kind of what just keeps happening. Alright, I should actually get a um, in-game save. Kasuga-san. It's finally time, your first shareholder mm -hmm. meeting. Shareholder what now? Hmm. In short, it's a meet and greet with the shareholders. Th those who have stock in our company. The shareholders are going to throw questions and opinions our way based on the results of the fiscal term. So I'd like you to do your best to deal with them, Kasuga-san. Deal with them? Well, it's actually more akin to quelling their anger. Our company still has a long way to go, so of course our shareholders are always angry in one way or another. But if they go home angry, they'll start forgoing their shares, and the value of the share will drop considerably. If the share price goes up, or if share price goes, the value of this company goes with it. And if share price ranking goes to shit, it'll be harder to fulfill the promise to Nick. That what you're saying? Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. Seriously? You say it's a mean greed, but doesn't it sound fun at all? Okay, so what do I gotta do to make them less angry? Best way to do that is to demonstrate the charm of our company and properly address the opinions of our shareholders. That should be enough to leave them satisfied. <laughs> if not, you can try apologizing from the bottom of your heart. Groffling might be a good way to go too. I've done it a few times, and it's proved most efficient. Sounds like you've had it rough. But wait, why am I doing this by myself? I'm not sure it's just gonna be me gonna be it's just I'm not sure if it's just me gonna be enough to convince these guys oh no you won't be by yourself you'll be able to choose up to four employees to join you at the shareholder meeting so please make sure you have a strong team lined up beforehand each employee has a different level of persuasive ability along with a specific field of expertise so keep in mind as you choose your team also I should tell you it's better to bring employees with higher positions and motivation to the shareholder meetings they tend to be much more persuasive. Wow. I got you. Okay then. I'll get a good team together and dive right yes. in. Yes. Great. Please do, Kaskasan. Uh oh. Good thing I just saved. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do this right now, actually. I don't think. The passing of the time and day in the game will matter, but just in case, I may make a separate save because if it's gonna be long and stuff like this, it probably needs my charm. Then yeah, I should just wait till later. All right, so where's the nearest taxi? Taxi down the road over here. Parkour Ichiban. And I just want to touch the 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 the, the, the taxi. I mean, I'll tell you right now, if I get bored of Yakuza 7 at any point, maybe I should just go back to Scarlet Nexus. Or Devil May Cry 4. Those are kind of my two options. I have Kasane's story to do in Scarlet Nexus, and I still have to, uh... Uh actually start Devil May Cry 4. I've made a tiny bit of progress in there, but of course the video clips are not uploaded or anything. Shit, did I delete music and stuff that I needed for that? I might have deleted some things that I needed for that, though. Oh, hey, I 
can't hold that many. Let me just stick with these two, man. Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching. Wow, they only gave them one. used to work in here yet? Oh, sure. Hmm. Foreman's been talking about you non-stop. I think he might even ask you out soon. Ew. Oh, looking forward to it. No, you're not. <sighs> Bill, didn't you? Shit, so where did it go? Well, we're in trouble now. And step. So, just how did you end up with this? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What? You saying this money just grew legs and walked over here by itself? Bad chance. <sighs> hey! These four Japanese are thieves! They're trying to steal the company's money! They almost made off with some of your pay! The pay's fake! Are we fake. gonna let them get away with that? I say hell no! Let's tear these fuckers up and load them in boxes! Well... These four Japanese... <laughs> If it was the Japanese dub, you'd be speaking Japanese too, you know. Mm. I'm gonna hit one guy. Have fun with this. My stuff. Still not done? Okay. Let's go! 
God, if only it was just a few seconds faster, would have been a nice music sync. Alright, he's just about done. I'm gonna throw this guy. You wanna ask her out, do you? Not gonna happen. You didn't even see what happened to him. You really need to be level 15 for that? Fuck! Who are you guys anyway? Hand over that damn money already. Fuck you! Just one bill's all I need. Come on. One bill? What the fuck kind of thief are you? Speak English. Oh shit. Oh shit, are they gonna ram us now or what? Simply the plan. Out of the way, guys! Uh oh. Oil. Gas. And sparks gonna run! Blow. It's gonna explode! Who's the white hair? What, did the my guy from Yakuza 6 not die when he got shot in the head? I forget his name. But that's the only character in Yakuza who has white hair was the guy who literally got shot in the face in Yakuza 6. Rubber bullets. Oh shit, you just passed out from the explosion. What's... what's happening? Where are we? Oh boy, torture sesh. Finally awake, huh? It's about damn time. What? Namba? Why are we... Yo. Cool it, Ichiban. It's hopeless. Listen, asshole. What do you think you're doing? He's right. Try to save your strength. Why are you guys so damn calm about all this? You're the last one to come around, so you missed all the introductions. Sorry, man. But you'll have to fill in the gaps yourself. Glad you could join us. <sighs> Let's get started, shall we? Oh boy, here we go. How about we don't? Just, just hold on! No fair! Don't I get an introduction too? Shut up! <laughs> Kasuga. No! Who are you? He's Lauma. <laughs> Lauma. In other words, Mabuchi. <laughs> Glad we could clear that up. You're going to answer some questions for me now. No, no, Mia. Sorry. The owner of Orohime Land. You're the one who murdered him. Tell me why! <laughs> I'll be the one asking the questions, and you're going to give me the answers I want to hear, or I'll kill all your friends, and you can watch as they bleed out. Okay, press record. Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. Deciding whether your friends will die. Oh boy. <clears throat> Am I gonna have to pick some dialogue options here? I know you're with 
the Seiryu clan. What? N no, I'm not. Are you sure? That's quite the tattoo on your back. You definitely know civilian. Maybe I'm just a dumb civilian who likes body art too much. I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. Why? What would a Japanese person want with Chinese Yuan? <laughs> Trick question. It's fake. Oh? Why do you think that? Because I saw crisp new bills in the office when supposedly they were out of cash. I also saw your boxes full of blank paper, even though you do food imports. So you intended to steal a bill which you almost certainly knew was fake. Whatever did you plan to do with it? It would have been evidence of all your fraud. I was gonna make you pay for killing Nonomiya. Which is what you deserve. <laughs> I see. Well, that's the best you can get. So you got jobs in our warehouse solely to investigate our highly successful business. And then you just happened to notice the fake money. Is that correct? <laughs> Fuck you. And no one else knows about it. Also correct? Oh, I wouldn't assume that. Answer me. Or would you prefer to watch your friends die? Fine. I haven't told anyone. Good boy. Now, last question. And don't fuck with me on this one. And ask it and get it over with! Do you truly believe that I am the one who killed Nonomiya? Yeah! You're damn straight! <laughs> Very good. Perfect, in fact. Yeah? Why's that, asshole? I've just recorded video evidence that the Seiryu clan is sticking its nose in our affairs. You Seiryu make me sick. Nothing but traitorous scum. Hey, we said we're not Seiryu. Save your breath. We fell right into his trap. What? What are you talking about? The Ejin Three took vows never to invade each other's territory. But the Seiryu clan has broken that promise. Which means... These guys just wanted an excuse anyway. They've declared war against the Yokohama Liumong. Huh? Stop the camera. Hey, you're getting this shit all mixed up. I ain't in the Seiryu clan. But your performance was excellent. I can't wait to see the whole movie. Come again? Well, okay. Since you were such a good actor, I'll let you in on one thing. The fuck? The man who killed Nonomiya is me. So you did do it! Send that video to each one of our members along with the warehouse security footage. Tell them it's proof the Seiryu clan attacked us. Yes, sir. I really must thank you. Piece of shit! I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted. But then you showed up. And now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. What the fuck? What are you plotting? Answer me, damn it! What happened to the torture tool he had? He wasn't gonna torture Ichiban it's at all? useless, Kasuga. What? Babuchi's obviously trying to start a war with the Seiryu clan. He wants to upset the balance of power in Ijinsho. Why would he want a war? I don't know. But he's about to claim that the Seiryu attacked the Liomong. And we're gonna be his proof. But why? And also, how? They're going to use Lots that of old blood in here. Shot. What fucking good is the video if we are not in the Seiryu clan? Did you hear him give the order to send the video to all the Omang members? That, plus that awful smile of his, and all the other weird shit he said on the video has me thinking. I don't know when he decided to do this, but he had a whole damn script for it. Bastard. Well, he's dead serious about starting this war. 
The stalemate is over. Hey, can we wallow in misery later? We gotta escape if you haven't noticed. Hell of a good point. I don't think we needed like 10 seconds to look at his chains. Sajan, don't be scared. This will work itself out. Mm -hmm. Will it though? <laughs> well, everything's worked out so far, hasn't it? I guess. Yo! Nanba, how bad they get you? I'm fine. Got off easier than you, anyway. Hey. Anyway, we gotta figure out a way out of here. Any ideas? Why would I have any way out of this? Hey... Anji-san, it will be cop like you told me as a clever plan, right? Any ex-cop ideas? Yeah. Totally. Seriously? Really? I knew an ex-cop would have something. So, what's the plan? First, we gotta get these chains off. Great, how do we do that? If I knew, I'd have done it already. <sighs> You're kidding me. What's this room for, anyway? Where even are we? It took us here by car after the warehouse exploded. They blindfolded us, so who knows where we are. Mambo just got a few hideouts in Ichincho. Probably one of those. <clears throat> Damn! It's freezing in here. I'm gonna catch a cold. Don't worry, idiots don't catch colds. Oh, shut up. Wait, where's my clothes? Hey. You see those cardboard boxes over there? Yeah? They're in there, along with everything else we had. Hmm? Huh? I had my phone in my coat, though. That means... It's not just you. All our phones and wallets are in there. If we could just get one of them over here, we could call for help. We already figured that out. But everything hinges on getting these chains off. You've tried, but they aren't budging. Hey. What about yours, Ichiban? Maybe they're weaker than ours. Totally. Alright. Time to give it a try. <laughs> Good luck, Ichiban. Yeah. Come on, don't hold back. Give it all you've got. Yeah. They'll kill us if we don't escape. Our lives depend on it. Yeah. Ichiban, you can do it! Hold on! <laughs> Hold your horses. They're not budging. Don't put this all on me anyway. Uh, Guess we're screwed. Yeah, they'll have to torture Ichiban a little bit before we can move on. They usually gotta do that to our Yakuza protagonist. You anyone's coming back? I mean... They wouldn't just leave us here to die, would they? That would be a pretty economic way to torture people. Sons of bitches. Shh. I hear footsteps. What do you want? What? What? The, what? The, that? What is his name? I am looking it up right now. What is his name? Yakuza 6. Juji Han! That's him! That's Juji Han! But how? Okay. Let's try. I, they've never exactly said. They've never played that someone got shot in the head. And then they come back, but they're probably doing it now. Now either Jujiana has a body double, or yeah, he done faked his death by getting shot in the head. It's gotta be body double. There's no way they would play that even a headshot doesn't kill people now. I mean Yakuza is very crazy on what kills people and what doesn't. It was a cutscene. It doesn't even matter if it's a cutscene, though. We've had a whole cutscene where 25 men were shot. 
and it was all rubber boards. Hey, I remember these guys. Yeah, they were at the warehouse. The warehouse is total thanks to you fucks. Everything is gone, and it's time for you to pay. Uh, it was you guys who blew up the truck, not us. <laughs> Luckily, Laoma gave us permission to make examples out of you. Examples? Yeah, we're gonna slice you up and send the body parts to the Seiryu clan. Laoma also said we can take our sweet time killing you. He knows how to keep his men motivated. Glad to hear you like your boss. That's rare. Ha! <laughs> Not scared, huh? You must have had some lucky breaks in the past. But there's none coming now. I'm about to show you what hell itself is like. <laughs> <laughs>